New England Revolution 2 are playoff bound. As temperatures have soared this summer, so too have Revs 2, unbeaten in nine and without a regulation loss in more than two months. Now, perhaps most impressive is that they've won in a variety of different ways during this stretch, from a trio of shutouts to a 5-4 barn burner over Orlando. And all of this is to say that players and coaches are all really excited about the direction of this group heading into the regular season's final month and that first ever playoff berth. If you look back, every game we are switching players, rotating, but the performance is still there. Um, I think the communication between the players and the understanding that if a player um, is playing in a spot or if somebody else is playing the same spot, uh, things are going to be different. And it's up to them to adjust and still do the things that we wanted to do as a team. So I think this has been really good um, in the past few games. The results have been consistent even as the roster has changed. Adding newcomer Patrick Leal into the mix in early August, getting midfielder Noble Okello back from injury, and implementing first team players like Tommy McNamara into the group as he's completed his own rehab process. Yeah, I think the team has responded well. Um, being a part of a second team, you know coming in that you're gonna have to deal with the adversity and deal with first team players coming down. Um, and I think that this group of players have done a great job with um, Tommy coming down with players coming back from injury like Noble and new changes like Patrick coming in. Um, and I think the chemistry and the bond that the team has um, is so great that when these changes happen, um, we can still pull off um, big victories. And there have been plenty of big victories with Revs 2 boasting one of the strongest attacks in all of MLS Next Pro with 50 goals through 24 games. Yeah. No, I, I think since the beginning we showed glimpses that what we could be. I think the addition of Jordan uh, it's been tremendous. Uh, he, he's a threat in every game. Um, he has 12 goals, but um, I think if you look in every game, he has three or four good, good chances and, and be very dangerous for us. Uh, but also Tico, Esmer, uh, Malcolm, Peyton, they all contribute, Marcus. You know, so we have, we have a, a good amount of guys that can score goals, and I think uh, we're really excited to have those players. Those goals, combined with a stingy defense, have Revolution 2 officially in the playoffs for the first time in the team's fourth year of existence. And while producing players for the first team is Revolution 2's ultimate objective, winning is also very much part of the equation. Yeah, I think it's massive. I think, uh, speak with Clint and Kurt, that that was a vision and a, almost a goal for, uh, for the second team. Uh, I think we are producing players uh, and helping players move into the first team. But uh, our job was never just one thing. Uh, the result is, is important as well. And uh, obviously how we get there, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a process. Uh, we're not making decisions just to win games, but uh, it is important for the group to uh, continue to grow. And uh, I think they'll be very excited when we get there. Mm -hmm. The mindset is to um, not let off the gas. Um, we know we've been playing well, scoring a bunch of goals. Um, but with these last few games, we need to keep the pace up, keep the pressure high on these teams, um, and finish strong. One player who will likely have a role in the squad come playoff time is 16-year-old forward Olger Escobar, who officially signed his first pro deal with Revs 2 in late July. The native of Malden, Mass, is the 11th player to move from the club's academy to the Revolution 2 roster since 2020, earning his contract with a stellar 2023 season that saw him score 15 goals in 17 starts while being named the under-17 MLS Next MVP. Uh, it, was, it was huge. I'm only 16 years old, so it's happened really quick at a young age. Uh, but it's, it's an amazing moment for me, and it's only the beginning. It's amazing, like, seeing that, like, seeing all of my friends at home be so proud of me that I'm signing for my home, home club. It's amazing. It's one, a dream come true. We always been excited about him. He, he was always a top player, a good contributor. But uh, I think lately his uh, personality started growing more and more. He's more confident. I think what he adds to the game, he's very uh, smooth on the ball. Uh, it's an intelligent player. I think he understands what we ask him to do. We ask him to be more uh, flexible in terms of how, where he can play uh, because he's a youngster. And I think he's adapting to that idea that, you know, I'm a soccer player, I can do multiple things, uh, just give me time. So we're really excited. I think he's a guy who also can score goals, he can create things. Um, so I think 
if he continues in this path, he, he's going to have he's going to have a long career. Internationally, Escobar has featured for Guatemala at the under-17 level, representing the country of his parents' birth. And it's plain to see how much this journey to the professional ranks has meant to both Olger and his parents. I wanted them here at every moment, um, every second of, of today. You know, they've been there since the beginning. They've been supporting me since since I was born. Muy contento, muy emocionado por uh, Gracias. Y uh, por haber alcanzado el, el objetivo, la meta que nos propusimos. <ríe> nos ha costado, pero lo logramos. Hemos trabajado duro. A él le consta que hemos trabajado incluso día y noche, porque a veces nos ha llegado las 12 de la noche eh, jugando en la cancha eh, entrenando y siempre yo le decía papi vámonos ya ya es hora él nunca paraba nunca paraba y nunca ha parado entonces eh, yo les doy un mensaje a todos los padres que que a una carrera así futbolística que hay, hay que darle seguimiento día y noche disciplina el 100% para poder alcanzar los sueños que el niño quiere y los sueños de, del padre o de los padres pero gracias al Revolution por todo el soporte que le han dado a mi hijo porque si no hubiera sido ellos también mi hijo no fuera lo que es bueno primeramente gracias a Dios y a Revolution y felicidades hijo la verdad que es un, una, un, un orgullo para nosotros como padres tenerte donde estás, pero la dedicación de, de tu papá, ¿ok? Eso sí le agradezco a Dios primero. I was a little boy, my dad used to bring me when I was little. I used to come and he always used to tell me like, oh, don't you ever wish you ever, you're ever playing on this field with, all, like, with this beautiful team. And yeah, it's always been on my mind. Long term, Olger says his objective is to keep climbing to the first team. But right now, his focus is on closing the season strong with Revolution 2, as they set their sights on a deep playoff run. I just, I want, I want the trophy. You know, we, we're working really hard. We're getting a lot of points, and we're working on it.